In this video, we're going to use StatCrunch to construct a confidence interval for two means using T statistics. We're going to focus on problem number 11. So if you kind of glance at the problem, here it says football players, and here it says basketball players. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down over here. So we've got football, so F-ball, and B-ball. Okay, a sample of 21 professional football players. That's going to be our N1, so that's our sample size for the football players. Then it says, had a mean weight of 259.6 pounds. That's really big. So that's the sample mean for the football players. So mean is equal to 259.6. That's going to be our X bar, or our sample mean. And a standard deviation of 12.1. So it says here the word sample. And then here it says standard deviation. So it's the sample standard deviation. So we're going to use T statistics. That tells us what to use T in this problem. So standard deviation is equal to 12.1. And then for B-ball, a sample of 19 professional basketball players. So that'll be N sub 2 equals 19 had a mean weight of 205.8 pounds. So that's our mean. So the mean is equal to 205.8. And then it says that they have a standard deviation of 12.9. So the standard deviation is 12.9. You have to be really careful in these problems that you write down all the numbers really, really carefully. So we're using T because it gives us the sample standard deviation. So in stat crunch, we just go over here to where it says stat. So stat. And then you go down to T stats. And we actually have two samples here. So it's two sample. And it's with summary. So you click on with summary. And let's see, the sample mean is 259.6. So 259.6. The sample standard deviation is 12.1. And the sample size is 21. And then for the football players, the mean is 205.8. 205.8. The sample standard deviation is 12.9. And the sample size is 19. You want to uncheck this box here always that says pool variances. So you want to uncheck that. And then you want to click on confidence interval. And I just realized we never actually read the question. We wanted a 99% confidence interval for mu1 minus mu2. In other words, the difference of the population means. So you want to change this to 99. And just you know do a quick check to make sure everything's OK. So we've got 21 football players. That's the sample size. We have a mean weight of 259.6. That's the mean. And we have a standard deviation of 12.1. Checks. We have 19 professional basketball players, 19. They have a mean of 205.8, that checks. And we have a sample standard deviation of 12.9, that checks. We go down here, we uncheck pool variances. This was checked before. And then you click on confidence interval, and you enter 0.99. Then you click compute, and boom, there it is. There's the answer. So the final answer is 43.03, so 43.03, comma, 64.57. And that is the final answer. So I hope this video made sense.